What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. I'm here in my Fiat 500 and I just took the little dongle uh, that came with my iPhone 7 Plus that converts you the USB port into the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And I wanna show you something because I wanna point out uh, um, uh, that there is kind of a fundamental flaw here. So stay tuned, I'm gonna explain it to you. But, but you, like me, are probably wondering how well does it work? Does it work quickly and does it work decently so obviously I have the adapter I kind of pulled it off this longer three and a half millimeter auxiliary um, uh, cable here which actually runs to my car and the nice thing is when I was in my car and listening to things like podcasts I would just go ahead and plug this in since there's no headphone jack now I need to use this so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start up this podcast here Peterson perspectives and See it's playing, I've got my car on aux. I'm just gonna throw, plug this in here and see how quickly it responds. Her order was in US interest. That support has been frayed. So you can see probably in here that um, the uh, the audio plays through the speakers really quickly. So about as quickly as a headphone jack into the phone. While that may not surprise you, one of the things I was wondering is you know, these lightning uh, adapters that plug in so that you can uh, video output to a TV kind of create a little bit of a lag initially. You plug it in, the phone or the iPad detects it, and then it kind of emulates that picture. So you don't have that big problem here. Now let me get to, so I'm happy with the way that works, but now let me get to what the fatal flaw is. Um, the problem is, you can see I've got another cable that hangs right here, and this is a lightning cable that goes to my 12 volt power outlet and the reason I have this is because there's a lot of times I like listening to my podcast and use the GPS on my phone and so my issue right now is that if you have this in for the headphone jack you can't plug in power and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kill your battery life because playing music or video or anything on an iPhone is gonna use battery power but then the GPS is notorious for killing batteries. So what you can't do is charge and listen to at the same time if you don't have this, um, if you're not using Bluetooth. So it's gonna really kind of push those people that are using three and a half millimeter to convert to Bluetooth. Now, there is another option. I have seen that there are some cables that not only have, uh, that split the signal out to a three and a half millimeter dongle here, and then another little dongle to another lightning cable. And Belkin has one with dual lightning ports. So you could plug this into the Belkin and then this into the bottom of the Belkin. So you actually kind of have this little convoluted thing. However, the issue is that none of those seem to be on the market. They all seem to be pre-ordered. And so uh, what they are effectively doing is like this AV output for the lightning cable, which you can use to connect it to a TV, not only creates the HDMI port, like the three and a half millimeter, but has another lightning uh, port right there so that you can plug in a cable and power up your device at the same time. So this is kind of what you need instead of this if you're like me. Peter Von Panda, out.